Hey guys, what's going on? Recently, we actually made a video going over kind of what um, to expect for the Siege of the Telvani event, but now that it's out, I really want to dive into it a little bit more and kind of talk about it. Number one, um, for everybody that does not have Necrom that has been wanting it, um, it is currently on sale 50% off for about 20 US dollars. So hop into Steam or the Elder Scrolls um, in game. Get that. It's awesome. I love it. It's an awesome chapter you get the arcanist class the telvani peninsula apocrypha all that stuff but if you have been keeping up to date and you see all the update 40 stuff coming out endless archive grandmaster crafting stations the jewelry crafting changes class sets all that cool stuff all of that is free you do not need necrom um, the only thing you're really going to get from necrom is you're going to be able to participate in this event possibly get a free house um, and you'll be able to get the arcanist class so just keep that in mind. I definitely recommend it. I love it. Um, but make that own decision for you. All right. So let's just go ahead and read through this article. And then I want to give you some tips and tricks on kind of how to do all this stuff. So explore the unknown. The Secrets of the Telvani in-game event kicks off this Thursday, September 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So that was this past Thursday. If you're watching it today, it is Saturday after it has already dropped. So it's been out for a couple days. This is why I wanted to make this video because I kind of want to go through um, little things for it. And it runs until Tuesday, October 10th at 10 a.m. During the celebration event, you can earn bonus rewards and collectibles as you complete daily quests in these zones, right? So there's two ways that you can kind of get involved with this um, in-game event. Number one, you can go to the Way Shrine that is found just outside of Necrom, and there you will see about a million players surrounding this little camp area um, right next to it. And you can go talk to Master Faris here this guy with the beard, um, and you can get the um, intro quest from him. The other option that you have is to go to the Crown Store. There's going to be a section um, labeled Quest Starters, and you can look for Master Faris on there. It'll point you directly to him, and you can get it. Okay? So keep that in mind. It's going to be called Turn the Page on the Crown Store. All right? All right, so every day we'll update the meter on the event page with the hashtag ESOFAMS progress. So there's a current meter, 0 to 100%, and at the different checkpoints on the meter, you'll see here we get these different rewards as a community. Now, to get these rewards, two things have to happen. You have to own Necron, and you have to participate in the event. And then, once the event is over, you have to go to the store and claim these items. They do not just pop into your inventory. Similar to uh, you know events in the past, you have to go physically claim these, so keep that in mind. Do not forget to do that at the end. I'm gonna make a video at the end of the event reminding you guys to do this, but keep that in mind. At the end of day one, so at the end of Thursday, we are already at 13%. There are 12 days in this event. If you do the math, we need roughly nine days to be able to do this if we keep that rate of activity. I think that this weekend we'll probably see a big jump as well. Uh, but 33%, you get the Ebony Dwarven Scarab Pet. That is this pet right here. This black and green Dwarven Scarab on this mushroom. 66%, we get the Nightmare Nest Body and Face Markings. That is this skin right here. I think it looks super, super cool. And then at the 100%, we get the Helison Rune House over here. That is amazing. Thank you, Zoss, for giving us a free house. I think that's incredible. It's a great way to have people engage with your game. I would have done it just for this skin, honestly. And I don't even house, but I'm going to after this. This is freaking awesome. All right. So there's going to be two different things that are going on during this event. There's going to be two sections of dailies. So you're going to have your typical Necrom dailies, where you will be able to do the World Boss Quest, the Delve Quest, and the Bastion Nimic Quest, right? The next thing that you're gonna see is you're gonna see stuff involving these two furnishing pieces. You've probably heard a lot of talk about this. Do you want the music box or the book? Well, here they are. Here is the music box, the Oath of the Keeper's music box, and then you have the Apocryphal Tome Furnishing. Um, team book, I definitely want this book. I don't think that we're not gonna be able to get the other one that loses. I think it's probably just gonna turn up in the crown store for like a thousand or 1500 crowns. Um, but there's going to be a daily at this camp where when you pick it up, they're going to ask you to go get five esoteric parchments. They just look like a gold quality book page in your inventory. And you can get them from a whole bunch of different types of things. So this is also 
a different section for getting these um, secret Telvanni coffers, which have all these really cool items in them, but these are also all sources for the esoteric parchments. Defeating a Delve or World Boss, defeating a Bastion Nimic Herald or Boss, defeating any monster, opening treasure chests, safe boxes, Sigic portals, etc., harvesting resource nodes, pickpocketing, and more. So, we don't have hard data on this, but a lot of people are complaining on the forums, basically saying, hey, the drop rate seems to be kind of crappy for these esoteric parchments. You know, what gives? Well, it seems like the drop rate is almost equal between a Delve boss, a World boss, a Bastionemic, and then also all the resource nodes and treasure chests. So if you're farming the esoteric parchments by killing these guys right here, you are doing it wrong, just straight up. You need to be going to the resource nodes. Literally what you need to do, pick up your daily quests in Necron, don't use way shrines, don't even hop on your mount. Sprint over to your objective and pick up every single resource node you see along the way. I guarantee you'll have like 10 or 12 by the time you get back. The other thing is, these are tradable. I would recommend trading them to your friends, stuff like that. Don't buy these. A lot of people are selling these on the guild store and stuff and selling their, their you know, their daily basically for the vote. Just don't, don't do that. You know, people are gonna overcharge for these because there's a misconception that these are difficult to get. They're not. Just go out there, resource node, harvest. Just do that for, you know, 10 minutes. You'll have literally two or three days worth of these things. Do not buy these. Save yourself some gold um, and do that. But the other thing is, because you're gonna be doing that along the way, every resource node that you get, you also have a chance to get these really cool secret Telvani coffers, right? So make sure that you are doing that. Um, let's backtrack a little bit though. So if you want to turn in your esoteric parchments, your five for the day as a daily, and you want to contribute as a vote towards the music box, you need to turn them into Trelease. If you want to contribute towards the Apocryphal Tome green, really cool book furnishing, you need to do it to Yensa. Now Yensa, at least every time I've been there, is not there. She has her mouth there. And if you guys are familiar with the way Dark Elf houses work, especially the Talbani, um, they have mouths, which are basically just other people that speak for them so they don't have to go to all the meetings. So Yensa's mouth is there um, and you can turn it in there. So these secret Talbani coffers are gonna have really cool things. Um, one of the things that you need to pay attention to here, companion gear is very um, lucrative, which is great but you are not gonna have companion gear drop out of these unless you have specifically a Xander or Sharp active. So if, if you have Bastion or Miri, Isabel or Ember active, it's not gonna do anything. So you need to make sure that you have a Xander or Sharp active. I've made a ton of money in the last two days already from these two specifically. The treasure maps, if you get any of the Apocrypha or Telvanni treasure maps, those are selling for a ton on PCNA as well. Um, and you can get motif pages, Dead Keeper, Clan Dream Carver, or Kindred's Concord. Kindred's Concord is the um, motif style that has been supposedly dropping from um, Bastion Nimix. I don't think it's been activated yet. I haven't seen a single one of these on any guild traders. None of my friends have had them drop, so I wouldn't expect anything. Um, and then a small chance for a tradable style page of the new Apocrypha Expedition armor style. So that's pretty much it, honestly. So you have all this stuff um, that you can do. You've got the two separate dailies. You've got your typical Necrom dailies where you'll get double coffers. Um, you have your um, furnishing vote dailies um, that you can do. You get a maximum of two event tickets per day. I got my event tickets through doing the typical dailies, meaning the Dell, the World Boss, or the Bastion Nimic. Um, so make sure you do that. And that's per day per account. Um, and then you've also got these being sold at the Impresario. So you've got the Passion Dancer Blossom Pet Fragments, the Passion Dancer Costume um, Fragments, which is right here. Um, you've got the style pages for the new Apocrypha Expedition style. And then the Indric Fragments, Deadlands Firewalker Personality Fragments, stuff like that. So let me know if you're enjoying this event. I'm having an absolute blast. I've absolutely loved Necrom. The Overland Zone is really cool. I like the style a lot of the Telvanni and especially like just the apocryphal tomes and the, the styles and all that stuff I think has been super, super cool. Let me know what you guys think though. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below, or you can catch me live, twitch.tv slash cooperharley0204. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.